Hi, and welcome to Birds with Bottle. We've got a Christmas thing about wine. And we want you to have a Christmas thing about wine too. Now, it's early December, and frankly, can you be asked to do stockings? Yeah. Is it a joy or is it a pain? And we're not talking about ones for the kids here, we're talking about for the grown-ups. Yeah, but if you've got a good theme and you like a challenge, doing a stocking can be rather fulfilling. Pun intended. Yeah, and you could do a colour coordinated stocking. Or, and I think we'd like one of these, a foodie stocking, but it's got to be relevant and out there, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, the last thing you want is to be finding yourself with a mini bloody Dundee cake. No. <laughs> and some <laughs> strawberry and champagne preserve. No, you definitely don't. But you could also do round things or square things maybe. Yeah. Or, I know, I know, how about, how about wine things, Mel? Sandra, what a brilliant idea. Fantastic. Why not slip in a sexy half bottle of something delicious? Yeah, that's yeah. our plan. But it's got to be something happening, hasn't it? Yeah. So, why not this? It's the Trius Showcase Canadian Ice Wine 2013. And this one is available from Aldi at 24 99 And it's made from the Vidal grape, which is basically the white grape that they like to use in Canada. And certainly at this time of year, Aldi and Lidl are not all about cheap, cheap, cheap. They no. have some good Christmas stuff going yeah. on. And it's only got 11% alcohol and a lovely bottle. Slim and divine. It's got the most beautiful candied peel aroma, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Really, you know it's going to be luscious and delicious. Mm. That's there on the palate too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And lovely. honey. You've got the weight, it rolls around your mouth like honey, but then you've got this bright candied peel, intense acidity. Mm. God, it's gorgeous. There's a real depth of flavour in there. Yeah. And it's going on and on. It's, it's really lasts well. Now, beautiful. ice wine, or ice vine as they call it in Germany and Austria, um, is made from grapes that are picked in January when they're still, when they're frozen, and they crush them and then they remove the ice crystals, so what you're left with is concentrated and frankly delicious. It's fabulous. But you get almost the same effect from drying grapes on straw. You certainly do, and that's what they do with this. It's the Rustenberg Straw Wine 2011. Now this is $12.99 and Majestic, reduced to $8.66 until the 2nd of February. It's $13.49 at Waitrose and, wait for it, it's only $10.19 at sawinesonline.co.uk. And it's made in South Africa and this is made from uh, Chenin Blanc with Viognier and a rather, well, relatively obscure grape called Crouching, which is even relatively obscure to us. It certainly is. It's got a lot less aroma than the last one, but you know, frankly, it's half the price practically. Yeah. So um, it's quite light on the nose, yeah. but fresh, nice freshness. Mm. It's peachy. It is. That bit of Viognier. Yeah. yeah. And I'm getting clementines, which is perfect for Christmas. Oh yeah, it's clementines. But again, even on the palate, it's 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 lighter. It's fresh. It's light. But really delicious, really delicious. So, so don't let that light, you know, the fact that it is lighter suggest that we're thinking it's inferior. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not lovely. Lovely. It's it really, really is clever really, really, it's really, really yeah. Yeah. perfect, yeah. perfect in your in your stocking. With a or something. Yeah, lovely. Now, can I take that from you? I hate to, but can I take? We're moving on. Yeah, because we're imagining that an old fogey in his smoking jacket and his black velvet monogram slippers with a decanter of something decidedly old by the side of him might tut and raise his eyebrows to this. Mm. So it is the Old Boys, it's 21 year old barrel aged tawny and um, it's from Waitrose, they're stocking it 
pun intended, and it's £22. Yum, yum, yum. It's a lovely colour. Yeah. Now, obviously, because it's from Australia, they can't call it port. Um, but it's it's made in the same sort of way as port. It's made from Shiraz, Grenache and Cabernet Sauvignon. Smells glorious, doesn't it? Mmm, it does. Really, really. It's like treacle toffee. And sticky toffee pudding. Yeah, that's what it's like. It's really very, very attractive indeed. Mm. It's fiery, isn't it? Like port. You yeah, that yeah, the big thing of alcohol. Very caramelised. It's definitely caramelised. It's like the sticky edges of a plum crumble, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Um, and it's like tawny port, but it's sort of not like tawny port. I know that doesn't make sense. It doesn't have the, the woody... I know it's barrel aged, but it doesn't have the woodiness that you get yeah. in a tawny port, does it? It's richer and sweeter, yeah. I think. Definitely. It'd be lovely with cheese. Yeah. Beautiful with cheese. You could yes. slip some cheese in the stocking to go with it as well. Yeah, don't leave it there too long though. Oh no, good point. <laughs> <laughs> now, you could pad out your stocking with something like a wine book. Yes, absolutely. That would be nice, wouldn't it, if you're doing it for a wine level? Yeah. Now, I particularly like Simon Wood's The World's Shortest Wine Book. Asterisk. Maybe. Um, it's a bit of a romp. It tells you all sorts of, well, I think they're very interesting things that you didn't already know about wine. Um, it's chatty, it's fun, it's light-hearted. I'd probably put it in the downstairs loo, but you'd expect to hear chuckles from the downstairs loo. Or... A little bit bigger, might not go in my stocking, but might go in one of those ones that is a bit elasticated. Yeah. Sediment. It's basically, it's posts that are taken from two middle-aged, grumpy, middle-class guys. Yeah. Who've, who've done a blog called Sediment, and they're basically having a rant, and these are some of the posts from it. Again. Quite amusing. It is. It's. It is amusing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good fun. But my favourite for stocking, and I think this could go in place of a clementine, is magic balls. If you haven't got magic balls and you like wine and you have decanters or even big wine glasses, it's a way of cleaning them. Mine are decidedly uncopper coloured now because I've had them for so long. Um, three or four pounds, and you stick them in your decanter with a tiny bit of water, slosh them around. I tip mine into a, a tea strainer, and. The decanter is clean, it really is. So, magic it's balls. It's magic! It's magic, yeah, fantastic. So, make sure somebody gets a good stuffing this Christmas. Yes. Now, we'll see you next week for our Christmas sherry video. Yeah, um, we'll see you then. <laughs>